Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Dollar, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ay, yeah. Ay, yeah. Reality. Ooh, yeah, yeah. The life we live right now is all about the money. So, what you gonna do when you ain't got no money? Your foreign cars and all the business. The podcast, one more again. Special guest. Um. I humbly, personally, will consider internet sensation. I've been seeing him do um, big numbers on a lot of platforms lately, and I'm very honored to have a mutual acquaintance that was able to connect me. Um, he, he goes by the name humbly of Danny Daniel, but I like to call him Dantana from East Loss. Welcome to the uh, platform, bro. Appreciate you coming, man. Um, you have so many layers and levels. Shout out, um, new project coming, levels and layers, stay tuned. Um, so many levels and layers to the person that I've learned you to be so far. I almost don't know where to start. Um, I definitely don't want to, you know, uh, make this a gang, bang, gang related conversation. However, there is a reference I would like to start from based on your affiliation, bro. Um, first of all, I know that you are affiliated with the Madavia organization situation. In my personal experience as an L.A. native and learning um, the culture of my culture, your culture, um, how we coexist, how we clashed. When I was young, running through the county jail, there was a name of a certain group of people that had a reputation that I really admired based on the fact they were of the uh, Latino culture and they was banged out. But the understanding of the cohesiveness that was kind of like we knew of the Tresses, they wasn't, for some reason, I don't want to get too deep in details because I know how y'all push y'all shit, but I remember they didn't really like fit into the overall picture by choice and they, they had to deal with stiff consequences and they stood down. And this is what I knew about the Madavias when I was in the county jail. And I don't want to put too much more in it from my perspective. I want you to only speak from it as much as you're comfortable with. But I first want to salute you for being amongst that uh, the ranks. And if as much as you're willing to share you kind of expound on that situation because I remember when I was a teenager going through the county jail I don't care if, if it was like one or two Madavias in a unit and um they was outnumbered by the opposition they never turned it down no matter what I don't know if they're I'm pretty sure somebody somewhere may have not saying but I've never been a, aware of somebody turning it down and it was a lot of pressure and I don't know a group on any side that that was that small that I've known of that stood up against that much opposition. And so if you're willing to speak on that, I'll be appreciated. Yeah. Um, well, first off, I, I mean, I might get uh, all deep into, you know, all that, all that of stuff, course. you know what I'm saying? But um, our neighborhood, we're, we're, we're majority a, a generational neighborhood. You know, we come from our, my grandfather, my dad, a lot of homies, their dads, their uncles, like our families are all like, intertwined in, in our neighborhood and stuff like that so um we come from like more of a of a, a family mindset you know what i mean even though like when you when you're from another neighborhood or whatever you might you might get in and you have homies and shit but it's another thing when you're backing up a family member mm. and that's how we see each other you know what i mean so you got you got one homeboy um you know somebody going at it with him or whatever that's your that's your family right there you know you you, you can't back down Right, and then if you do back down, one thing with us is you're gonna get got by 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 us, homie. You know what I mean? Or my people are gonna get me if I fuck up right. somehow. You know what I mean? So you gotta you gotta stand your ground, bro. And I mean, if it comes to, uh, to the point where you're going against the grain, then they fuck it. Were you um, incarcerated back in those days at any period of time? Um, yeah, I was. I, I was. Um, well, I was in juvenile hall in, in the nineties. Did it, but, yeah, down, did it trickle down to the juvenile hall? The same politics? You know what? Yeah, yeah, it kind of did. Not as far as knowing the politic, politics shit in, in, of it, but as far as going at it with the opposition, hell yeah, every fucking neighborhood was your enemy. You know, and it, do, and it was on site. That's what it do, man. Mm -hmm. um, you was born and raised in Southern California. Yeah, born and raised. Um, I see it's kind of common tattoos, face tattoos. Um, a lot of times people have face tattoos and they're not really identifiable what they represent. Yours represent exactly where you're from. Mm -hmm. um, have you living out here locally? Does that cause like an issue for you or does people seemingly just like overlook it? No, I, I seen so that everybody's, you know, has a uh, staring at you. You know what I mean? But I mean, it just gets, it got tired some, um, 
when I was younger, uh, people just, man, where you from? Where you from? Or where you stay at? Like, motherfucker, you see that shit on my forehead? Ain't you going to see it in the back of my head? Right. And that's just what it was. It was it was my young mentality back then. You know, I don't have the same mentality now. I mean, I have it on me. It's not coming off. But it's just like, you know, fuck it. It, was, it is what it is, homie. Like, I'm not going to keep saying this shit. Is You see it. You know, there's no need. I, and people, like, I've, I've gone into shit, like, like a couple of years ago or whatever, like, um, where they still feel the need to hit you up just to see if you're gonna say the shit. Right. Like, what makes you think that I'm not gonna say my shit? Especially you know I mean? when you present, I'm presented in this certain fashion. Yeah, yeah. I run across that too. You, you could imagine me being slightly known in my um, environments. Mm -hmm. I always, I run into this often. Aggressive. Hey, where you from? Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, oh, whoop whoop, and then it's like, oh, ain't you so and so? Mm -hmm. It's like, cause you knew that before you like got at me, but mm -hmm. you wanted to show out in front of your homies mm -hmm. and then break it down so you knew it wasn't, but I, so I could imagine, especially now that you do, you run across that, how about this? I've known you from on the internet and mm -hmm. in the last few months, are you running into people in public who, not the gang life, but recognize you from your presence on the internet? Oh, hell yeah, every yeah. day, bro. Just go to the mall, go to the fucking swap meets, wherever, you, the supermarket. <laughs> How it's it, cool. It's all. It's all love. I, when, I, when the last time I was with you, you had your daughter with you. Uh, have you ever had to got a chance to experience that while you out with your child? Oh, all the time. Yeah, all the time, mommy. It, and it's cool. They show. They show my kids love. You I'm know, not bad. It, it's I know a, it's good. Out. You know, it, um, it's it's cool, bro. But the it other make thing, you feel like you've accomplished something when you with your daughter and people come out and they see you. Some do you feel a, a sense of honor, pride? I feel a sense of honor and pride when it comes to what I'm talking about. You know, when it comes to uh, culture or or um. You know, bringing knowledge about certain laws. I want y'all to know, I was gonna get him there. He's rushing to get to the meat and the potatoes. <laughs> the dude way heavier than he looked. I was starting off with the shallow. Go ahead, break your bread. But it it it, it becomes a very um a humble experience when when people get at you and they're like um I like the 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 message you got. You know, whether it, it comes to uh, pushing um some knowledge about maybe your diet. No, or, or, no, you getting ahead of me, or, man. Or, or I, I, no, I'm gonna walk you down all those paths, yeah, 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 whole yeah. trip. Cause yeah. I wanted, I, I, I wanted people to like underestimate the image at first. Cause yeah. you know, you look like shallow, don't know nothing but uh, grimy. All I had went through was rough. Ooh, wah, wah, bam! And you come almost in uniform with your character, with the Pendleton style shirt. So I like the misconception that the average viewer is mm -hmm. gonna have, not knowing. Yeah. And then I was going to try to slowly get us mm -hmm. into the depths of the individual that mm -hmm. you are. But I love the fact that, because even when I met the producer of the show, he reached out to me based on my public presence and he liked to interview me the same way he did you, you know. Mm -hmm. And I was like, bro, I had came off a hiatus when he got at me and I was trying to get some exposure and his platform is huge. Mm -hmm. and he can tell you, I basically turned him down because of the title. It wasn't street TV, it was street gangs. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, bro, I'm not really trying to do that. I would love to benefit from your hundreds of thousands of, but, and he told me, and it's the way the universe works, he was already in the mind frame of transitioning his channel. I think he got at me like around October, November. And he said, bro, I'm changing my shit in January. Mm -hmm. That was already his plan. So he doubled back with me in January and I was willing and excited and eager to participate on street TV versus street gangs. Mm -hmm. So we might as well not waste any time into getting into the transition of the man that you are versus the loc or the vato that you are or were. Mm -hmm. So tell me, um, before we can get into the, like, the vastness of your knowledge of history, what, first of all, I know I asked you this off camera the other day, but what caused you to go from a, a point of being just a down homie that's with this shit to somebody interested in where I come from where I'm going in the bigger picture. What was the moment in your life where you began to start actually researching and investigating who you were? I, I think it started with, with me, bro. Like I said, um, my name. So you know, that's yeah. your camera too. All right. All right. I really don't like to look at the camera. I, I don't see know, it. You know what I mean? That's, like, that's the G in you. I feel, I feel that's weird, the G, bro, you That's know? the G in you, homie. But look, see that, y'all, this is the dynamic of the intellect he has and the challenge he's gonna have to have because he's no longer really the guy who ducks cameras because he has so much knowledge that he would be cheating the world if he hides it. And when these cameras on, when you look them in the eye, they see your soul. Mm -hmm. and your message is powerful, but go ahead. But that's you though, just so you know. All right, <laughs> all right. right. Yeah, but I feel, I feel um, my, my, my grandfather put me up a lot on a lot when I, was, when I was little, bro. Like, even though I didn't understand a lot of shit that he was talking about, um, he always taught me that, that I, we're always gonna be against the grain. There's always gonna be somebody putting us down. And I mean that in a sense too, it, it, talking to black and brown. Mm -hmm. You know, we're always, we're, we're, they teach us that we're a, minor, a minority and shit. 
And um, the truth be told, we ain't no minority. We're the majority. Same. We're the majority of almost every fucking thing, especially when it comes to a consumer. Mm. You know what I mean, we, we mm. buying all this shit, homie. You know what I mean? But we we don't have our own our own label, our own business, none of that mm. shit. We're we're steady buying other people's shit mm. you know, instead of as investing far as in brands. Into, yeah, brands are just even yourself, homie. You know what but, I mean? But you know when there, I see a separation there because mm. salute mm. and I'm, I, I I applaud. I see your people with a a, a far tighter infrastructure of cohesiveness when it comes to at least business and working together than we do. Mm. Because if it's not the top elite corporate, at least like within the construction, transportation, mm. it's a lot of Hispanic business owners that are able to maneuver. And I don't actually see my people maneuvering like that. I remember when Rodney King's situation happened mm. and it was burning the city down, there was an epidemic of people putting up black owned businesses, please don't do it. Mm -hmm. It's like after that time, it's very hard for me to go out of my community and spend a dollar with one of my own people. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys have a more action at going, even if it's going to get your tire changed, you can at least bless your people. Mm -hmm. you, there's actual, uh, a lot of eateries mm -hmm. where you can go and break bread with your people. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard for us to find that these days. I think at least that, in California. Yeah, I think with, the, with everybody, I think um, uh, everybody needs a little bit of sense of structure. Mm -hmm. And there's too many people trying to be chiefs and shit. You know, trying to be the leader, and instead of instead of putting the homie on or, or branching out and building bridges, we're too busy asking, "Well, where's that fool from? Where's mm -hmm. he from? You know what I mean? What the I, fuck does it matter, homie? That's your people." Even when I was in prison, I was assigned to auto body as a vocation for a while. I go behind the wall every day with a group of people, and I just want to say this, and I don't know, I'm not, I don't know why this is coming forth now, but the difference I saw, me and my homies and my people, we get vocation, we get in the back. We'll find a trash can to turn upside down, put something on top of it, and we playing cards and mm. dominoes all day. Mm. Your people was breaking their neck to get in there, put on the coveralls, get they was uh, spray paint. They was doing the cars mm. when I was in small engines. Guess what they was doing when we get to work. They was getting in there working on the project, mm. leaving with certificates of accreditation. I don't know if they used the certificates, but guess what they had the knowledge. Mm. But I don't know. I was with it. My big homies was with it. When we went got back there, we in the back of the, and the, the instructor, he don't give a fuck. Mm -hmm. He ain't going to make you participate. There's a project. What happened was the CEOs used to like, saying I was in auto body or I was in auto paint. I did all these vocations and uh, small engines saying we need projects for the, the, the inmates. So I guess if you was a CEO, you had an old Chevy, you could just bring it there mm -hmm. and get it done for free. Mm -hmm. the, the job the shop might do in three months, this might take 19 months, but the inmates are going to do it. And what I, what I noticed, your people, and even the white boys, they couldn't wait to get to work. And when we got to work, we couldn't wait to go fuck around. But <laughs> my bad, but keep breaking bread. Let me nah, shut that's up. Cool, homie. Yeah, facts over feelings, y'all. This is the podcast. My boy Dantana, Maravilla, East Side Lost, uh, South Side, Los Angeles. I feel honored to have him here. He has a lot to say. I want you to continue to share. Go ahead. Appreciate it, homie. Um, yeah, I just think I think um we need to stop complaining about shit. And we need to start um, knowledging ourselves in, on everything that we, we're involving ourselves in. You know what I mean? Um, one thing I think my, my grandfather taught me when I was little is that learn something from everybody and anybody. Mm. You know, and, and most of the time when we hear something, whether he's from a rival neighborhood or whatever, we, we dismiss it right away. Like, oh, fuck that fool. He, mm. he don't know shit. Or, or by our parents, like you said, you know, I mean, people are going to judge me because of how I'm dressed or how I look, my tattoos and shit. And they're going to assume that I'm not educated on shit. Mm -hmm. well, I would assume that. Yeah, of course. But, um. You know, we, there's something to learn from everybody, homie. Indeed, that but bum I, out the street. And, but I also know the effect of the fact that a lot of people that we want to reach are not going to listen to someone that they mm -hmm. can't relate to. Mm -hmm. And to a lot of people, you are relatable. Mm -hmm. Somebody has to be able to relate to the motherfucker who's not going to listen to the dude in the tie and the suit with mm -hmm. the same knowledge. Right. And I believe you and I may share that in common because I've come from a background where my upbringing, because of my skill or my blessing or my gift to be able to express and speak, mm -hmm. They, I was preacher, 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 preacher. Yeah. All right. Maybe I tried it. It didn't fit. But I still realized I am a spokesperson on behalf of truth designated by my creator. I don't know if you want to call it a prophet, mm -hmm. a preacher or what. Mm -hmm. And now I realize there's certain elements of truth that I become privy to that I would like to share that certain individuals are not going to accept it from nobody but someone like me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like you fit that same format in a lot of... uh. Mm -hmm. Have you done any of your tattoos yourself? I know tattooing is one nah. of your uh, crafts. Yeah, no, nah, I, I haven't done nothing like that's on myself, but like up below, I mean, below, yeah, my legs and okay. shit, but 
but not a, nothing. Is outside. that common for artists to practice on themselves initially? Mm, yeah, some some home. I have, I have a couple of homies that that tattoo it on themselves. They're actually pretty fucking pretty good. Shit. Yeah. Me myself, I can't tattoo upside down. Nah. Nah. Fuck no. Nah. But it, it's um tattooing something that it very common for your homies. Like if you could do me, I do you. It's like almost everybody can do it. You know what? In a in a in a young mindset, like a like a, a young teenager or whatever, yeah, it's cool. But when you're an adult, hell no. Nah. Because you want it right, right. Yeah, no, nah, well, these tattoos are to be earned, bro. Mm. You have to be spoken for. Mm. Yeah, you can't just get, you can't just get that <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's deep. Yeah. Tell me this. What is there any a scenario ever where it'd be cool behind the wall on a business venture for someone like you to tattoo someone like me? Um, I mean, not not, you know, up there. Nah, cause mine was done by North Days on my mama, mama. I got tattoos mm-hmm. in the joint, but it was from up that way. They, yeah, 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 on oh God. Yeah, but out here, I mean, you know, it's, it's all business. Of course, on the streets is business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you 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 realize as a man, the adults, there's some personalities on the internet. I ain't gonna say no name who seemingly don't know how to separate the streets from there when they speak about how we interact with one another on the internet. But it's, I mean, on, in, in public, but it's more obvious that. We do a lot more together than we do separated in a general sense. It's not like some a lot of people got this idea that, especially out of towners, based on what they've heard, that every time somebody looks like you see somebody that looks like me on the streets, it's problems. Mm. And when I was speaking to you the other day, and you were speaking about our lineage, you were speaking very historically and almost spiritually about us coming from a tribal sense of the same people. Right. And without you speaking it i've heard in recent years through a lot of different people i respect that our lineages do cross and combine in some to some degree when we think about the tribal sense of it and it's a very i want to be very careful right now because you know shemitic is a word that's like very popping Mm -hmm. but i would like you to expound on the fact of um what do you think about the fact that oppressed people my people, your people versus other people. We're in America, the whole idea about chosen people and where do you feel like we fit in in that whole scheme of things? Well, without even even talking about tribes or we'll talk about um, whatever we think our ethnicity is or, or chosen people, you could say growing up that certain a certain group of people have a certain spirit mm-hmm. on them. Some people are, are, are more compassionate. Some people are really know the term of where breaking bread comes from. Mm-hmm. You come into my pad, I'm gonna offer you something to eat. You need to use the restroom, it's right there. Mm-hmm. I got, to, I hear some water, would you like something to drink? You know, that's just the humbleness of our people of really breaking bread. Mm-hmm. Some people don't give a shit. Mm-hmm. They'll pass right by you and they'll start the whole conversation and not look you in your eyes when, they, when they're talking to you. <laughs> right. You know, I'm not gonna pay attention to this camera when I'm talking to the, this I man right that. here. You yeah, know I what I mean? That. When you meet a man, you shake his, his hand. Um, firmly all that shit bro and, and a, a lot of people don't acknowledge that and that's because it's not in their spirit mm. you know what I mean but um yeah there's it, we need to get all these all these indoctrinated words out of our system like the like the word white and the word black who gave you those terms you know what I mean you either contain melanin or you don't homie mm, you know? melanin, that's a very uh interesting word as well mm. one of my um reoccurring co-hosts here she's branded the word melevated Mm. So that's dope. Yeah, it's dope. Shout out to uh, Lauren Madison. But give me your thoughts on melanin as far as those that have it, those that don't. What is its implications out here? And as far as um, the fact that it came up right now, what is how? Why is melanin such a important word these days to our people? Because certain certain uh, uh, tribes are 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 contain um, we're carbon based people, mm. and that's what the sun is made of. And that feeds us our energy, photosynthesis, and gives us energy and life, bro. Mm. Some people aren't. And those people that aren't, they're cursed by the sun. Mm. They have a, they have a, a, a disease that, that, that is generated called leprosy. Mm. And, you know, they get skin cancer and shit like that. That's their curse if you want to go into, uh, um, how do I say it? Um, I don't want to say, um, what's that word I was going to use right now? Like, um, like according to the Bible. Mm-hmm. Biblical. Or, or biblical. Mm-hmm. A biblical sense, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I promise you, I would thought that I, I should have said. It. I thought I thought that's what you were looking for. Go ahead, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, 
But um, you know, it's it's funny because we watch all these movies and shit. Like um, they always they always say, and I don't know if you get this or you heard about this, that they show you a little bit of truth in movies and shit. Mm-hmm. Like that, yes, right? yes, especially by sci-fi, they say that a lot. Right. Mm-hmm. So, have you seen the the new movie on um, Black Panther? Not the new one, because I heard that they included the rainbow. Right. So heavy, I was uninterested, bro. If it was all about black and now it's black and rainbow, I'm cool. But go ahead. Right. So you got a, a certain group of people and they're looking for this this um this medal or whatever. Mm-hmm. I hate to blow the story for that, for that movie or whatever, but spoiler they're, alert. They're look they're looking for um this certain medal that these two indigenous tribes got, mm-hmm. right? The Wakandans. And um we'll say um I don't know if they, they could call them Aztecs or Maya or whatever mm-hmm. they want to call them, indigenous people or whatever. My like, people and your people is according to the movie. Right, right. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, we have this special the special metal material, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, in the X Men movie, it's the same thing. You got mm-hmm. the mutants, this certain group of people um, trying to trying to vaccinate these um, these mutants and take away their power. Mm-hmm. It's called the X gene. Mm-hmm. When you look at our people, indigenous people that we're both indigenous, we have that X gene in our blood, mm-hmm. and that that's what they, is there any they sense to connected to the concept of the pineal gland? Yeah, we generate a, a higher frequency. Mm-hmm. We do spiritually in every in every way, shape and form. We live longer, all kinds of shit. And it's not to put to downplay other other races or ethnicities. It's just facts. It's Bio- not- if you take biology courses and shit like that, you understand. You, you, now, have, have you done anything of that nature? Have you been formally educated on these subjects? Was this all self taught? Just no. being interested and curious? No, I've taken classes, bro. Taking yeah. classes, yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think you sound qualified to even teach some classes. Um, mm-hmm. I've like heard you touch upon so many subjects. I got so many ideas. But since we're on this subject right now, um, there's a name that came up casually when you and I were speaking that mm-hmm. um, is a, a brother of mine, a mm-hmm. good comrade, Tyreek Nasheed. Mm-hmm. And he speaks in depth on a lot of the same subjects that you speak on. Mm-hmm. And you um, express a small bit of interest of perhaps either communicating with him, having dialogue, and I just would like to uh, make this moment. Yo, T. Nashi, you see where I'm at? I'm breaking bread. This brother has expressed some interest in some of the things that you express. And I just want to give him the opportunity to kind of like address any of the issues that you'll be interested in discussing with the homie. Yeah, for sure. That would be that would be a good sit down, a, a good uh, communication that I would like to have. Um, I've heard him speak. He's, he's uh, well educated. Indeed. But there's a lot of misconceptions that, uh, you know, I would like to not debate. But conversate about it. I think mm-hmm. it's good to, to have a conversation and, and, and have some dialogue. You know what I mean? He's so well versed in what he believes. I just respect your eagerness to even have that dialogue because I know we haven't scratched the surface of your, um, your knowledge on certain subjects. But you guys have to know if you're familiar with the homie T. Nashi, dude's ability to discuss similar issues is quite similar so i believe it would be a very interesting dialogue to witness just to see the perspectives mm-hmm. the things that we may agree upon or y'all might agree upon or may disagree upon i respect right, right. that yeah i, I want to do everything i can to try to bring that about for respectfully sure, for sure yeah do you tattoo as one of your like forms of income or is it a hobby not no nah, never a hobby bro it was um um man the whole the whole um objective of, of doing this tattooing i learned from my uncle first of all um, he was a real well-known um, artist back in back in his days, but um, he's re- he was real old school, bro. He was in, he was in the fifties, sixties, and shit like that. I know. Yeah. Zoo suit. Yep. Yeah. So um, yeah, I learned from him, and it was all it was all culture. That was it. There was no yeah. roses or none of this none of this um, playful stuff or or um. Right. You know, I can't. You can't come into to my studio, and I'm gonna put your gang on you, homie. That's something you get from your homies. Mm. I, that's like I'm, I'm speaking for you, and that's out of turn. That's out of place. Mm, I can't deep. do that. So um. Oh, cause you might not deserve that. What if I look like branding you with that? That's deep. Facts, homie. They're gonna ask you where you got that from, and I'm. I acknowledge you. How how good does that make my me look? Mm. You know, my voice ain't, ain't gonna be worth shit. Right. So it, 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 in that you you get down. You 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 tight. Appreciate you on a unit, and then somebody from over here say, "Yo, I want you to blast me." It'd be ideal for you to have like one of his big homies on a unit. Like, yo, what's up with him? Yeah, he's yeah. gotta be. Yeah. Clarify. Okay, sure. I get that. Mm-hmm. So what about like as it bled over to the streets, and it just comes to like regular civilians wanting. A picture? Do you do that type of? Oh yeah, yeah, color? yeah. I do that. Um, there's some stuff like um, when it comes to uh, us, um, our culture. There's some pieces I, I still I won't put on on people. Mm. You know, they they mean certain things, and those are to be earned. You know what I mean? But um, as far as other stuff, um, yeah, I do I do a lot of other other tattoos. You know what I mean? So you, uh, go for it. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. You can finish. Um, it's, unless it's something like I don't feel comfortable with, like a lot of um people like want um 
a lot of white boys want demon shit, oh, you like don't all like devil all shit, shit, and I don't like all that devil shit. You know, I was what just mean? about to ask you how often do you run into ideas that you're not comfortable with? Is it out of, how often? Is it like monthly, it, it's, daily? No, nah, it's rare. Rare. It's rare. Yeah, yeah. Um, but for the most part, yeah, I tattoo everything, homie. You know. That's what's up. You mind if I go back a little bit and get back biblical? Let's do it. Um, is there a way from our your knowledge of the Bible mm -hmm. to identify my people, your people in the Bible? Do you believe that the Bible, for whatever, some people don't believe in the Bible, regardless if you believe in it at all, it mm -hmm. does discuss certain subjects. Right. So do you believe that the Bible discusses our people at Fact. all? It Facts. does. Yep. Are you able to identify how we are discussed in there? Do you mind expounding yeah, on we, that at all? We are part of the, uh, we will be a part of the 12 tribes. When it comes to um like the say for instance of um the story of Moses right, mm -hmm. um that whole story of um the commandments um law statutes and commandments right, mm -hmm. and Deuteronomy, um, and in our culture it, it's really hard um uh, because we come from a, a whole different mindset of how of the creation story, mm -hmm. but you mind sharing the difference? Some of the traditional. Not to saying that I believe it, but the only story I know is the traditional rib, all that. Right, right, right. Wait, you mean the whole seven days? Yes. Yeah, creation so, is different, yeah. or just the man and the woman? Both. Can you please yeah. share, share? I mean that 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 part that'll be a whole lecture, okay, homie. Okay, all right, keep going. But all right, that's what deep. I will what all I will right. expound on is um, you know, it's the story of Moses, right? Mm -hmm. That story is to be taken uh, very personal in in our culture because mm -hmm. that that will be the story of the name a man named Meshi. Mm. And how we get the name Mexican, where it comes oh. from, Mexica. It mm. means the chosen or blessed ones. Mm. And the the whole carrying of the tabernacle to us building the the, the holy temple. Mm. Um, that's our story. How so we you're came familiar out of the with the whole setup yeah. of the sanctuary All that and with everything. I am as well. I went All to that. private school from like um, preschool to 12th grade. Then I graduated 12th grade to go to seminary to be a pastor actually oh, at, for real? at Oakwood University oh, wow. in Alabama. Didn't quite follow through. But however, throughout K through 12th, I became very familiar with the ceremony of the sanctuary and with all the different things implicated, how the priest, the high priest was the only one to go into the most holy place. And if he had any sins on him, he died. He had to have a rope on him, he had to pull him out. Mm -hmm. I know about the sacrifices. So that's, um, it's interesting to me that I have never heard that that would be considered a, a group of people that you feel like you would be affiliated with. That's where Moses messed the M is all as far as word and it's a connection there. Right. So there's two there's two ways to interpret the Bible, right? Okay. Um, the first way would be um, a, a, a form of Christianity mm -hmm. or a religious mindset, mm -hmm. um, which the Bible isn't. It, mm -hmm. it comes from the Torah, mm -hmm. which is pure scripture of law, statutes, and commandments that are given to a certain people, right? Correct. Um, so when you when Christianity, they read the Bible like a book. You'll flip to the book and keep flipping through it and read it, and then all your personal feelings are going to get added onto those scriptures. Mm. Oh, this is what God must have been talking about. It. Oh, God loves everybody. They tell you it's a it's a, a love letter from God to you. That's how they market right. it. But go right, ahead. Right. Yeah. But in a reality sense, mm -hmm. you know, before before um, scriptures were taken um, from the Holy Temple from a man named Nebuchadnezzar who was a a, a role, uh, he was a part of Rome, right? Right. Uh, he sent his yeah. army out to sack to 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 sack the town right mm -hmm. in Jerusalem. Um, that was changed and manipulated. It's like me going into your pad, right? And um, you you got a a, a diary or a journal for you mm. and your kids, right? And you're writing every day. You're writing these dreams mm. that you got, what God is telling you to do. And I come and I steal that from you, mm. and I go and tell the whole world or or all my family, hey, this is for you. This is what it means. Is that true? No, no I understand. Not. I understand, but I've never been heard it first like that. Right. And I've thought about it in that <clears throat> sense without being able to really verbalize it. So I'm glad to see you verbalize that. That's what I think. Right, right. So the because correct way to 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 um to read the Bible or to study the Bible, not read it, but study it, mm. is to learn the language it was spoken on, Aramaic mm. and Hebrew. And um, study precept upon precept. So, so is a concordance uh, sufficient, or do you need a? If you can't actually learn a language, do they have any type of like aids or tools that there, you can utilize? There's a there's an app on on, a, on the phone. Uh, it's called the Blue Letter. Uh, the Blue, um, what is it? Blue Letter Bible. Okay. I think the Blue Letter Bible. I think it's called. Okay. And it'll show you the definitions, and I'm gonna give you an example, bro. It'll give you a definition um, of the words and and say um, in English. It'll give you mm -hmm. uh, a definition of um, of an Ar Aramaic yeah. or Hebrew, and it'll give you the definition in a Greek or whatever. 
Um, so you, and they're different definitions sometimes, bro. Mm. So we're gonna take. I'm gonna take one scripture just to show Please the audience, do. right? Break your bread. So John three sixteen, Christianity mm -hmm. loves to throw that out. All God so loved the world, they gave His only begotten Son, that whoever in that world shall believe in Him, right? So when I ask you, homie, what does the world mean? What is what's the definition mm. of world, right? Mm -hmm. You're gonna say, what are you gonna say? Of course, the whole globe, the, the whole globe, shit. right? Yep. Mm. Okay, that's what it is in the English version, mm. but it's a nation. The, the 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 other languages, what it would, it would really mean in Hebrew is a nation of people, a specific nation, right? Mm -hmm. So what it mean the whole world? That's why people get all, all um, discombobulated when they see the word world in the Bible. They see the word world with an S, that's plural. Mm -hmm. They mean all 18 nations that God created and they see the word Similar earth. Similar to God and gods, the right. same kind of like, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, bro, so that means many, right? It's a mm -hmm. plural, plural statement. So when, when, um, when the, um, the, the man they call Jesus, that's not even his real name, mm -hmm. and he, he's at the well and he turns a lady away from the well and he says, oh, depart from me. Don't don't talk to me. I haven't been sent unto you, but I've been sent unto my people. That's a mm. possessive pronoun. My people. Because mm -hmm. he was from the tribe of Judah, who are also Hebrew Israelites. Mm -hmm. And the laws were given to who? Moses. Mm -hmm. From the tribe of Levi, mm -hmm. who were the high priests to give to their people. Mm -hmm. When Paul went out to, to, to get the Gentiles, it wasn't the Gentiles that were of the nations. It was the Israelites that had been accustomed to living in Gentile ways. Now, was Paul... Uh, non-gentile by birth or was he a convert no he wasn't a convert he was he was uh that was john john was who used to crucify <laughs> the christians on. road to damascus <laughs> who was on the road to damascus we're gonna get all we're all gonna right, get all mixed bad. up right? okay i don't want to do that 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 um i've kind of lost the train of thought as to where we began on the we got into a whole biblical yeah, thing homie. it happens it happens it happens i apologize but anyway but what i bring out homie is that that um there's no difference between um between um, when it comes to indigenous people, you could trace your lineage back to an indigenous tribe, homie. And what does indigenous mean for the sake of the it's, conversation? You're from the earth. The earth. This, this is everything about us. We are part of part of this this um, growth, bro. We we like we are. We're, we're How made. important is it? Do you feel it is to actually understand what portion of the earth you're indigenous from? I think it's very important, homie. It's very important. What what, what is my path to really knowing where 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 I'm from? Because even though you consider yourself brown on a fly sense, mm. you can either consider yourself Argentinian, Mexican. Mm. Um, like you say, most of my people, we say African American, we're not really from Africa. What I I I I I don't want to use a word like jealous or envy, mm -hmm. but I desire to also have the feeling of not anything specific, but saying, Oh, I'm Romanian or I'm Scandinavian or mm -hmm. just feel like I have an origin somewhere. That is a very displacing feeling not to feel like you can, get con con even though I have brothers like you, mm -hmm. I don't know if we brothers or cousins, but I have brothers that look just like me, mm -hmm. brother cousins like you that say, Hey, you're indigenous, but to where, why don't I feel attached to anything? Where can I find my lineage to realize, okay, this is what my home was. Whether I ever travel back and live there, I can at least know I'm Korean, I'm Japanese, I'm Indonesian. Like, how do I know? You know what sucks, bro, is that they fucking manipulated and covered over um, so much of our history and truth, bro, and, gentr and gentrified us so many times, homie, that we get to change the name almost every fucking decade. I almost feel like that it's almost as good enough to like, as a me or as a people, let's start one now. Like, yeah. if we don't know, and we can't quite connect because we all are the ones that can't quite connect. Let's establish this is who we are, right. and then let's try to move. Is that is that a reality, or is that like laziness, or do you have to go further back and keep fighting to figure out? So on a, on a biblical sense, I'll say this, bro. If it, if it is too hard to find your lineage, or or to to you know you get stuck at a dead end, but oh my dad was this and his dad was this or whatever, so I must be this. Mm -hmm. If you if you can't if you if you're really i'm finding out the truth i mean biblically it says to go by the spirit then mm. and the curses mm. so if all these curses pertain to you in deuteronomy homie and the, or the majority of them i mean and your spirit is 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 um gravitating to everything that that my energy is putting out homie then you you got to be fucking part of the mm. chosen people you know mm. if not then you're going to be um i mean you would really be an african you would really be um you know um part of those tribes from Kemet mm. and all that and see, there, 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 that's a whole nother can of worms to try to separate who is who from a skin tone. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I relate to that because there is people that spoken of that would be displaced. 
and they have so many attributes where you can identify their people. And if they don't know where they come from and they fit all those attributes, why would not you count yourself amongst those people? Mm -hmm. That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I wonder, um, I just wonder, do you ever think that concept of reality will become mainstream? Um, I think little by little it is. Everything's coming to light. You see all this stuff exposing this, exposing that, exposing the corruption and all this and that. But the reason why there's no, there's no, um, there's no manifest of change is because we don't change. Our mm -hmm. mindset don't change, homie. We're too busy, distracted by the dumb shit. All, the, all these trends and all this all this dumb shit and we're not educating ourselves you know, on, on a day by day basis on a day by day what type man. of things you think we should be focusing on a day by day day basis that would be more productive or more fulfilling outside of the shit we do teaching your kids at home that's where school starts mm -hmm. not at the sending your kid off to a school system an indoctrinational system where they're going to learn what they what they want you to learn and with the more appropriate education as far as what we want them to know, what is the end result we're trying to bring about for our children to be able to accomplish? A, other than just knowing more of the truth, what do we feel like that truth is going to solidify for us in the future by our kids knowing that and being able to execute what type of plan? It's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to bring about a, a, sur, a, 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 a for real sense of appreciation, homie, of mm -hmm. real humbleness, of of. This is why you shouldn't hurt that animal. This is why you should feed that animal. This you is why you should right bless there. bless my brother. This is why. Are you not a meat consumer? A what? A meat consumer. You know what? Um, I have a lot of knowledge on on uh, on our diet okay. and what we should we what we should be at an alkaline state. But man, bro, I can't deny my my tacos and burritos, homie. That's you know right. what I mean? <laughs> That's right. But look, I mean, why would we be the only people or the only species on the earth? Well, there are other herbivores that are, but. Oh, you said something alkaline, made me think of him, also mm -hmm. made me think of Dr. Sebi, rest mm -hmm. in peace, right. to both of y'all. Um, might surprise you to know that I was very familiar with Dr. Sebi before you and he, mm -hmm. thanks to the also late, great Lisa Left Eye yeah. Lopez, rest mm -hmm. in peace. When I spent this time with uh, Shig Knight in the early 2000s, one night he called a meeting late night, it was like me, Corrupt, um, Crooked Eye, Eastwood, a few other people. Usually that would be some type of music meeting. We came to the office and Dr. Sebi came out and it was only it was a small room and he fell on the floor. It was like a cement floor covered with kindergarten or preschool carpet. And he dropped on that motherfucker on his knees. That mm -hmm. was how he started his presentation. He was like, when I was 39, I couldn't do that. Mm -hmm. He was like, I'm 69 now. And he gave us this whole spiel. Mm -hmm. And then he kind of faded off into the memories of my mind through the years. And then he resurged when the internet got to popping and he became the sensation. Then the homie attached himself to him. And then I come across some things on the internet that I see that you had a lot of association with his whole movement. What's your thoughts on Dr. Sebi, health, um, the pharmaceutical industry, what we should be doing as far as keeping our bodies alkaline versus acidic mind, speaking on some of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I mean, I was I was uh, privy to a lot of his um, his um, lectures, bro. Um, I learned a lot from that man. Um, rest in peace. But um, you know, we need to bring, we need to, uh, we need to really start back from ground to ground zero, bro. Mm -hmm. You know, everything that we learned was basically a lie. Um, mm -hmm. from the whole milk uh, making our bones strong and all that shit. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we need to, we need to come yeah, back. Milk, milk, milk is is no good, bro. No, it's not good for us, homie. You know, <laughs> um. Uh, most of that d dairy shit, you know, all these processed sugars, all, all these yeah. preservatives, all this shit, like that shit is destroying us, like from the gate. It is. You it's think that's the high um, reason why there's so many cancerous situations out here? Everything, bro. All that we consume, we consume as as a people, a credit card a week. Think about that. That's how much plastic you're eating. Mm, that's all in your body. That, yeah. that amount of mm. yeah. And anything that your body can't break down, your body's gonna assume that it's supposed to be there. So what happens? What what happens is. Your your immune system bumps up, creating a more uh, a, a big resistance of white blood cells that attack this object, but it can't because of the the mucus that is surrounding that object. So it starts to grow a thin layer of skin over it, causing it, creating a tumor. Mm. That tumor becomes cancerous and it's spread um, to various parts of your body by red blood cells that are taking bits and particles to other parts of your body. That spreads the cancer. You know, so how good is it to to keep on eating this shit, drinking this shit, and just being ignorant? In a sense, homie, what people, I, 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 sometimes I'll have these conversations with people and they'll be like, oh, we're going to die anyways. 
Motherfucker, you die first. Bro, I swear to God, that was the thought of my mind while you was talking. It's like, damn, because it seems like there's so many things that you're challenged with eliminating. Mm. That is one of the motherfucking alternatives. Like, God damn, it's so exhausting that, mm. okay, you're saying what, 15, 20, maybe years extra. Maybe I'll just try to max it out and live it. Like, what the mm. fuck are we supposed to do? Really grow our own food mm. and really like. We got to be drinking real water, bro. Real, people go, oh, I got this alkaline water today. I got this, you know, it has a high pH or whatever the hell. That's dead water, homie. All these bottled waters, especially in plastic bottles, are dead water. So where should we find our source of water? From a real spring. <laughs> a real spring for real. And that's why you see these signs. You'll get you'll get a fine or you'll get you'll get arrested if you if they can't catch you or there's parasites in this water. Nah. That's real live water. That mm. contains real electrolytes. So no, okay, you in our realistic society. That's, there's no other source. There's no filtering. There's no place that goes that we can go get it. Like Water I, has I, to be running, and 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 it, it generates its energy off of the minerals of the rocks that it's that it's running crossing over. over. Yeah, think about think about it as like a dam, homie. So where is our water coming from that we drink it out the bottles? From these plantations that they got, like up in the you know the San Bernardino Mountains. There's there's different different ones they got. So they do at some point come across rocks. They put chlorine in there. After it comes, but it does come across the rocks and then they put it through a process that eliminates all that mm -hmm. good shit. Yep. Wow. Yep. I just, that just seems like almost a hopeless, uh, a hopeless, I don't know, I, I couldn't imagine in real life time how I would go replace that as a, how I go get a real healthy source of water. Mm -hmm. Seems like I'm limited to the tap and whatever comes in bottles. I don't know where I would find a spring. If I was, if I were to break down everything with, with, with food products and everything, bro, water, the shit that we're drinking, it, it becomes so depressing. It, it feels does. like you don't got nowhere to run. Hey, that's what I was saying, exactly. Real, real it shit. It does, bro, because even when you like really go deep, because they say drink water instead of sweet drinks and sodas and all that, you say, okay, I'm gonna drink water. And they say, bottle water ain't no good. You're like, what the fuck mm -hmm. do I do now? Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. It's like a uh, little little it's little by little, bro. You know, you gotta do a little by little, homie. Right. You gotta change all your all your Tupperware at your pad from plastic to glass. Mm. You know, glass is real. Plastic and, and shit. It's we shouldn't not. be drinking it it, it. it just there's there's so much, bro. I could put into this conversation, but it's okay. I, it's like, just little by little, homie. I want you to know. Typically, when I set up an episode of Facts Over Feelings, I do my research on current events, mm. and I have a few sets of current events to dialogue with with my um, guest. But when I began researching you, I just threw that format out. Mm. Yeah, you have so many interesting <laughs> things that you're well versed on. I just trusted the energy that we'll be able. We we try to cover sixty minutes here. I just figured that sixty minutes would be easy to cover, just being open and organic. Appreciate and it. I appreciate this energy yeah, way more, yeah, because I know I'm just scratching the surface of your thoughts on so many subjects. And this dude over here, that's behind the ones and twos, usually is a lot more suggestive of uh, what else we could discuss. And I can't <laughs> believe with the history you and he, you and him share. He ain't throwing at me no kind of bone at the moment. <laughs> I think I did good thus far. Yeah, but you know what? I think I think what it is, bro, is that we we become um we become consumed with our habits. We get content with life, homie. We get too fucking um relaxed with how things are and and, and our job and the money that we're making that we don't even want to further our knowledge. I know I'm a victim of that. I'm, I, I I get so complacent. It's like the this is what happens in my brain. I kind of break my existence down. When I think about the ocean and I realize the ocean, how mighty and powerful it is and how almost infinite it is. And then I realize the ocean is nothing without an accumulation of the tiniest drops of water that can mm -hmm. possess a glass. Mm -hmm. Each one of those tiny uh, pieces of the ocean is what creates it. And then I also realize in my mind, I've been realizing a lot lately that I am as, as much as the smallest part of the drop of water, even the mist that just floats off that gets you wet. When this whole idea of reality and humanity in the world, I kind of view myself as insignificant as any mist of water because no matter what happens to you, myself, or anyone, Dr. Sebi, Nipsey, this shit goes on like it. we never were here. Mm. And the more I realize I'm more related to each drop of water out the ocean than the whole ocean. I kind of leaves me discombobulated on where I can really be effective or what I should really do as far as the overall situation. I just start focusing on being the best little drop 
of water that's because this ocean is going to do what it's going to do regardless of just think if you were in the ocean you took a cup like this mm. and you scooped it out the ocean ain't gonna skip a beat mm. but do you know how many of you and eyes could fit in that one cup mm -hmm. do that make sense to you yeah bro i see i see it in a, in in a similar sense of, of when i tell people you know, uh, uh, pushing a movement or, or furthering your knowledge, homie, is that I'm just one hand out the colony, homie. Mm -hmm. But imagine if we all held hands and pushed forward. Shit, we're strong as fuck. Indeed, indeed. And if you start looking at the overall objective versus your personal implications, that's when you can start applying yourself to something bigger than yourself. Yeah. And then we can look in history and see, without that being your goal, there are individuals who do get exalted. But it's not because they say, hey, I'm finna calculate a path to be at the top of this. It's because they dedicated themselves to issues and principles. And because of that dedication, they, they were exalted to somebody that we all recognize. And I think a lot of times, especially with social media, the award is marketed before the work. Mm -hmm. And it seems like such a simple path to get to the award. Everybody's looking for the easy way to do everything. Mm -hmm. The shortcut. The shortcut. And I believe the shortcut is the long way. Mm -hmm. I think right now is a very important time, homie, that we're living in because this literally, this phone right here, this mm. social media shit, these podcasts, these little things are is like our last trumpet, mm. our last sound off because that's just going to get turned off soon. Mm. And we ain't going to have no communication. Right now we got a web, literally a web out where we could get these messages across and warn people of certain things going on and, um, and band together and, and, and tell people or, 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 or have them formulate a plan, homie. To move mm. forward when this shit does hit because something is gonna hit bro when you say it's gonna be cut off what do you mean do you think the powers that be are gonna just make it to where you grab your phone there's nothing there nothing there homie. it's happened on each individual mm -hmm. shit every now and then like yep. space facebook could be down or so you just think it's gonna be an overall for the betterment of their agenda they think that's no best. money no bitcoin all that's the collapse mm -hmm. all that shit to bring about what end you believe uh a full-on um control control over you bro it comes with the martial law everything that you could think of bro now no regular police departments but nothing but national guard just to bring Black about just to bring about that type of society they didn't, yeah and they think that you, you believe that that people can't control themselves mm -hmm. they're, they're gonna cause us to to riot again and people we have nothing but outrage nothing but our feelings to be in and, dis and destruction i don't, of, I don't understand I, I i understand what you're saying but i don't understand why they don't understand with the addition of cameras in our society a lot of what they act like they're in fear of if we have a system of justice it's kind of hard to hide from the, the cameras are everywhere these mm -hmm. days mm -hmm. do you think the fact that things that i remember it was a common t phrase that the revolution wouldn't be televised i think they was telling telling lies i think it will be televised we get privy to see almost every tragedy that happens these days do you think technology eventually because of the people and the fact that we can't communicate or you think we're going to use it as a weapon in order for us to win or do you think the system is going to win i think the system has a place uh, uh, a a narrative that they're already pushing i think they have a, a false flag that they're already prepared to to roll out mm. and i think that our people are going to fall for it do you think um key novi 19 was a false flag um bro, definitely bro i could break that down that's a straight that's a straight um uh a military plan homie that's a straight frequency warfare mm. that's using every smart device to affect your frequency of your pineal gland so it mm, I, was, well, I was well you just killed one of my questions so you believe that there's 5g implications in the whole definitely bro yeah you go yeah you come from a bit of my understanding on that situation as well mm -hmm. it's kind of very you got to be careful how you discuss that because you remember when it first hit Mm -hmm. uh, 5G was very closely associated with the whole thing and it just went away. Mm -hmm. And now recently, if you are very interested in knowing what's going on, there are a lot of theories that associate them very closely. And that's very interesting mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. You said you could break the whole thing down. I don't mind if you expound a little more. Yeah, but um, I got, I, there's a lot of words that I can't use, yeah, but the algorithms will pick okay, up. Yeah. They'll, they'll... Then we'll, 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 we'll get off of that. But for those that are... To, but definitely a 5G program, homie. To he who has an ear, let him hear. Yeah. A word to the wise sufficient. Research um, that subject matter along the lines of what just sparked your interest. If you didn't get it, it just went over your head, it might not be time for you to take that lesson. But for those that have um, de uh, developed a little bit of in 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 uh, curiosity based upon it, yeah, look that up. Look up at the connection with those two. Okay, now that we've been very selective with 
the words we utilize on these platforms based on algorithm, I want to challenge you and your courage a little bit. There's a word that I mentioned a lot earlier. It's like you kind of ducked it. But I want to, you know, I very, I really respect your education on these subjects. Mm. I would like a, a definition on your behalf as to what do you consider being anti-Semitic? What does that word mean? And the way it's being used in the media these days, do you think that's appropriate? Or just what is anti-Semitic? Because I'm very interested to realize how it's such easy, it's so easy to throw a word around that the general public, nobody knows what it means. And for it to be such a powerful word, because nobody really knows what anti-Semitic means beyond the people that are saying it. And it still is utilized as such a, a derogatory word. It's like, what does it mean? But why would it be derogatory, though? That's what and I'm then curious who are the people, of. Who are the people saying that is derogatory? Well, based on the algorithm we mentioned right, right, and right, all right. that, I'm trying to be careful. But based, right. we can just <laughs> insinuate those who know, those those guys. But, yeah, but what is the actual definition, anti-Semitic or Semitic, Semite, what does that mean, just for in by definition? Well, I mean, there's a whole bunch of different terms that, that people use that it could mean, bro. Okay, but as, but, as in its origin, so basically, see, we can skip through a lot of the history. So basically, the idea is the original concept of what the word means is not what's being complained about. Right. That's the essence of it. Mm. So because I know, I know that. So I know that we believe that the, the word derives originally for a certain group of people. Mm -hmm. And now there's a whole nother group of people who feel like, for whatever reason, they're not being treated fairly, and they're using a word to describe what they're going through that really doesn't relate to them. It relates to another group of people. I think that the, that they use that word, this group of people, and I can't even say the, the name, right? You know, but they use it in, in a in a biblical sense to to put them as being these people, mm -hmm. and it's not. But when we speak about it that's when it becomes anti-Semitic, you know? But it, it's all factual shit. What's it, the irony of Semitic people saying, hey, I don't like the way you treat me, and then those people say, hey, you're being anti-Semitic to the Semitic people. I, that is so ironic to me. Like, how does that translate to um, um, popular society before everybody says, man, what the fuck are you talking about? They're bullshit. Why is it so hard to establish that Semitic means these group of people and these people hollering at, why is it so hard for that to be established? Do you believe that group of people have that much power over the media, what we hear and see that it's no matter what, all we gotta do is say, that's anti-Semitic and it's out of here, regardless if it is or not? I mean, look at what happened with old boy, bro. Yeah, exactly. How fast they could turn on that switch, homie, to your money, um, to ma to manipulate the the person that you are, um, all that shit. Everybody's all scared, you know. It's true. Um, we talked about um, um, old boy, um, man. I don't, I really don't want to use um, names, but I'll. You use, don't have to. I'll use. It's gonna be obvious once you make your point. I'll use one of the 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 person's names that he was on okay. the show, um, Professor Griff. Okay. Brought out so many factual statements, bro. And they call that anti-Semitic. That's know, all it took. They blocked it down. But if you if you don't even have him on the platform and you go study yourself, you'll find out that everything that he said was factual. True. Everything. Ain't, ain't, let, me, let me play a one minute clip for you. There we go. You've uh, met many of the things that I've read about you, and you've made it mentioned a couple of times about the Jews and everything. And I'm wondering if you are personally anti-Semitic. No. Uh, how can I be anti-Semitic when right. the Arabs are semi? Half the Muslim world are uh, is Semitic. If I was anti-Semitic, I'd be anti-Arab and anti everything uh, yeah. else. No, I think this that in this country, there's one mistake that the Jews make. Uh, they put themselves in a position where whenever anybody gives an objective analysis of the role that they play, uh, they defend themselves by accusing you of being anti-Semitic. And, and uh, a Negro is not anti-Semitic when he says that the, the man who's exploiting him in his community is white because right. it is a white man who owns all the stores. Now, is it a, an accident that these whites who own these stores are Jewish? If it's an accident, then uh, the fact that he says the Jew on the corner is exploiting me isn't an anti-Semitic statement. It's just more descriptive of the man who's exploiting him. Mm -hmm. I've just posted that clip on my mm -hmm. uh, to my uh, shorts on YouTube recently. I very much admire that clip in the wake of everything that's being said these days. Mm -hmm. The fact that they're throwing that same word around, mm -hmm. and it, it's so 
and nobody really can define it. But they throw it around, and it, it can knock down. It's such a powerful word. I never, I, I can't believe it was that powerful. It also has caused Ice Cube. Mm-hmm. I remember when I was very young, Ice Cube was very um, vocal and aggressive and even violent in his speech towards certain groups of people, similar group. Mm-hmm. And I remember I learned that word back then as a teen through his music. And whether he has the same sentiments, which I'm sure he does have a lot of the same feelings, based upon his um, desire to be successful in media and entertainment, he has very much so curved his public expression mm. of his thoughts toward the same group. And it just gives another testament toward the power that they possess. And I just wonder what the end game is going to be about it. What it is, bro, is they use, they use that word like a stop sign, homie. Mm-hmm. And they use it as a stop sign to a certain group of people that resonate that higher frequency Mm. and that group of people does not know that they are able to manifest change Mm. manifest change bro they do it manifest change through rituals and ceremonies that they conduct themselves in we're able to do that too if we if we get together can you imagine this can you imagine yo lebron james shaquille o'neal deon sanders and names like that being of your people, could you imagine what y'all would have pulled off with that amount of influence and money and shit by now? Mm. Huh? Can you imagine? Just think about what I'm suggesting, bro. Mm. I don't know what's stopping this, bro. I don't get it. I don't the, get people it. People are scared of shit. People are, especially when you come that high of a, a stature in the game and you're getting that check all the time, homie, they don't want to lose that check. You guys, if you guys got the look we get with the fucking exposure, with the infrastructure and this fucking solidarity and unity you guys express, it'll be game over, which it's already finna be game over. You just do the game of numbers. That's why I hope we can keep this Kendrick going amongst us because the next power here upon this soil, if things are continue to continue, mm. Y'all got it, bro. It's, y'all, y'all got the numbers. I think, I think a lot of a lot of ignorance comes, bro, uh, on um on both our parts. Is that we're so used to not having nothing, mm. and when we get a little bit of something, all of a sudden we want to be rich, or we we feel like we're rich, and that's the that's the mindset that's destroying us because we're not thinking about being wealthy. Mm. Rich is only for our lifetime, if that. But wealthy is generational. You know what I mean, generational wealth. That's something I try to focus upon. Are you so correct? Mm-hmm. It makes a lot of sense and a lot of people even though we're not consciously competing or racing we are in a race through races and it's a system of capitalism mm-hmm. and groups of people are they're working together to be as effective as they can and that is one of the most key components in being successful in that type of system mm-hmm. bro we get a, we get a raise of a couple of dollars on, a, on our on our checks or whatever if we're working for a company or whatever and our spending goes up we want to buy better shit. You so are we to. really making any more money? No, nah, we're just leveling out every, every time and be more content. And the fact that money is so unnatural and so mm-hmm. created and that so much of our natural energy is diverted mm-hmm. toward it, it really causes me in my most quiet moments to really just think about what we, what are we really supposed to be doing? If we spend so much time chasing something that other humans made that we know is not the business, what is our real task on earth if it's not chasing money because we chase money like that's the only thing to do people should should ask themselves this bro what is the real the real um source of having income or being or being um say having things of value right Mm -hmm. if you go back to to our tribal times um money was associated with how many cows you had Mm -hmm. how many how many horses you had how many crops you were growing that was your source of income, right? Mm. But now they put this money in front of us or this thing that called they call money in front of us and we're too busy fighting over that where they're controlling all the resources. That's deep. They're controlling all the cows and how many burgers like we're able say, to. So once they turn it digital and you don't have none of the actual resources, mm-hmm. all they gotta do is cut the digital system. We don't got off. nothing. You don't got nothing. Ain't nobody know how to hunt. Ain't nobody know how to Fish. grow shit. Right. Ain't nobody know where their su- true source of alkaline comes from. <laughs> we don't know nothing, especially about ourselves and what tribe we come from. What are your thoughts on like actually opening up institutions of education on these lines of subjects, subject matter? Oh yeah, definitely, bro. It might be something we need to really be thinking of because the next generation needs to know. And the formal, I think the formal form and sense of education is like a thing of yesterday. Mm-hmm. I am aware that the educational curriculum that we grew up under was to prepare people to enter into the factory Yep. Um, environment of, you Get know, in yeah, and it's like so over with, bro. Now mm-hmm. automation, they, they're they training robots to do what they, what high school trains you to do. Mm-hmm. So there is a whole new education. You have kids who are 
paying their parents' bills by playing video games at home. Mm -hmm. So it's a whole new time right now. Mm -hmm. And that power is in your hand. I learned that. Mm -hmm. So I think it's an interesting time, man. I don't know uh, if you want to put any like finishing touches on anything we said, but we have kind of filled up our time frame and we haven't even scratched the surface of half the things <laughs> I want to talk about. I mean, me and you sitting at this table, we break bread like brothers. Had we left here and went to lunch, anybody walked in the room, had a problem with you, got a problem with me. And that's how it's going to push. Mm. Do you think that can expand beyond one-on-one, -on -one, you and I, for our people in, in whole? Or do you think that's going to be held down to personal relationships? Do you think it could be a time where be 60 of your people in the bar and 50 of people in my bar and some of them for the Rams, some of them for the Raiders, and we all have a good time, get drunk, talk shit without it being no tension. Do you think that day can come out here? Hell yeah, I think it could come out here. I think it comes out here when, when you, when you like I said, um, starting to educate your, your children at home on how to conduct themselves, mm -hmm. how to show another man a, a true form of respect. You know, and also when you get to, to our age, um, um, really to stop talking about it and let's start doing some shit. Mm -hmm. Let's start throwing some functions together. Let's start throwing some fucking barbecues together. Let's putting start putting ourselves on the spot right now. Yeah, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's too busy talking about it behind these platforms or what we should do or what we want to do and ain't nobody really doing shit. And I want to salute my homies and the, the, the uh, Florencias for being one of the most current um, examples of at least trying to do something in that um, format. Nothing's perfect, but it is a lot different than when it used to be mm. when two major situations sit down and had that type of mind frame. Right. So that's kind of like what led me to ask you that because I see hints of it here and there. And I believe that it's not only um, necessary, I think it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. Cause I think love will win. And I think there's more love amongst us than it is hate. And I think a lot of the, the disagreement and the hate comes become from misconceptions. Cause every time we really forced to deal with just a regular situation, Things go cohesive. It's the way it started. The only time I really realized the shit going bad, bad is through the system. And sometimes that bled over to the streets. But a lot of things get misdiagnosed um, because if I walk into an establishment, bro, with my people, and I can have a simple situation with you, if it blows up a group against a group, mm. it don't mean it was us against y'all as far as the races. Mm -hmm. It was like the dudes he was with roll with him mm -hmm. and the dudes that he was with roll with him. It don't mean they hate each other. It was an incident that went down just like if I was in a, 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 a establishment with my peoples and there's a group of white people. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily race. You just gonna ride with who you with. Mm -hmm. and a lot of people will overdo it like because they clash now or they don't like them. They don't like them and since nah, I was with my homie. He had a problem with him. They jumped in and we got in and that was it. Mm -hmm. And that's it's, it's a lot of times it's easier for us as people that's involved to bounce back from that than what people would assume from the outside looking in. Yeah, I think it comes from too um, us us being um we're, we're tribal people, mm -hmm. we're tribal people, and in that tribal sense of, of a mindset, um, we want to be that alpha male. So mm -hmm. when you when you have when you have say my neighborhood and your neighborhoods right here um, back to back, and we're both calling this land that's my neighborhood, and you're saying this is my neighborhood, you got to really think about it. The land that we're fighting over, is that shit really ours? No. Hell not. We fighting for the last place at the bottom just to scrap. We're killing each other. When we're growing up, we still got to pay this taxes and all this bullshit. If you don't mind exposing what your ear looked like to the camera. And when you mention tribal, I know that's become a common look in the last 15, 20 years. Right. Are you, is that there because of style or is that because oh, no. of, please. It, it's a, it's a uh, rite of passage, bro. Right it was um, uh, uh, a, a, a mindset of a, a vision, bro, when we got sent out to um, to know our calling or what we were going to be, mm. um, our, our, receive our first vision. And Is it, that, gosh, would I be correct in calling that a gauge? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, today it's called gauges, like gauges. The, the width of it. Mm. But yeah, um, it was used in, um, they used different, um, let's say, jade. Um, would be a higher ranking uh, status within you, within the tribe, mm. or um, some used um, different other. Uh, oh, size mean big dog. The bigger, well, the bigger. Yeah, but also the material you were putting in <coughs> oh, your okay. ear. Okay. Right, because it, it it um it it resonated that or it, it raised that frequency near your pineal gland because did you the, smart, Did you start smaller and? Oh yeah, definitely, okay. bro. Yeah, it, it took me it took me maybe a, a year to get this 
to get this out. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to go no bigger or nothing like that. But okay. Yeah. I, I, I've come far more accustomed. It's way more acceptable when I see it. When I used to see it, I'm like, man, he crazy. Mm -hmm. did it, does it hurt more than a piercing or is it a gradual thing where you don't really realize it? Pain. Uh, it's different for everybody, homie. Right, yeah. 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 That's right. It's just crazy when you see uh, other ethnicities using it. It's like. Right. It's because you know where it comes from. Yeah. yeah. But you know somebody else made it popular. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me this. Does versus tattoos, does any spot hurt more than the other? Um, I think your chest cavity, uh, of course, and then um, your your ribs. Um, well, That's, for me. I would assume you to say one of these. Oh, no, nah, these, right. your face, your head, that ain't nothing. The, this either? No. Nah. This crazy. That's, I had this touched up, but that's crazy. Um, way off the subject, but it's something I did hear you discuss on another interview recently. Um, sacrifice of adolescence with certain group of people, indigenous people, something that is something that's been discussed. Is that something you're familiar with? Um, do you have any ideas if that was a practice that people were at one time more comfortable with than they are now? Because now you hear about it, it's so taboo and but I am aware of a conversation I believe I heard you had where the interviewer was discussing like human sacrifice. What's your Yeah, so there was different there was different um methods of sacrifice, different reasons for sacrifice. Um a lot of it was was rituals to the deities that that our culture was sacrificing for, whether it be the sun, um, which was really the black sun, mm. which is in the hollow earth. Mm. Um they show you in that movie um Black Panther. Mm. Let me go back to the movie. Yeah. They show you. They show you all that shit. Does the hollow earth correlate with a flat earth? Right. Okay. Only. Okay. So, um, they show you that in that movie. Um, but the main benefits for the sacrificial offerings were for the beneficial of the blood, and mm. and the young person that they were sacrificing. I wouldn't get no benefit off of sacrificing you per se at your age, because mm. um, your blood has um, transformed so many times through the shit that you've been through. Mm. Um, from your pineal gland, all your hurt, your pain, um, shit Plus like the that. The purity of the blood. The purity of the blood, and especially from a young child, it's even more. It actually um, prolongs your your lifespan. It also stops you from wow. aging. Uh, wow. <laughs> and how do they inject? They ingest it just by drinking it? No, you would have to um, um, make the person feel. It's a it's a real definition of a murder. Mm. There's a difference between killing somebody and a murder. I could kill you and shoot you. And you're just gonna die, and there's no benefit from that. But if I murder you, um, you, you're you got to feel pain. Generating all that adrenochrome into that blood. You got to be kidding me. And when I drink that, and that's why a lot of you know, I spoke on that before about a lot of the other shit going on. Yeah, I was. I swear to God, that was the only question that I provided you that wasn't from my own brain. I hate that I even asked you that because you just fucked me up with the visual, man. Yeah. That's they the have whole... a lot of stuff. You know, they show on the on the Alan DeGeneres show. They show on the Oprah Winfrey show. Um, they have doctors come on and they show um, oh here put put this drop of blood on your what you call it where's that come from it comes from my baby's foreskin but it actually takes the wrinkles off your face it, it does a lot of different shit <laughs> it's, it's crazy so more popular than you say an adult sacrifice would be a child sacrifice right right so were there actual babies bred for the purpose of sacrifice um, sometimes they would consider their blessing you know an offering you give your offering even and, the, the woman that bore it would bear under the mind she's doing it for the whole or, yep Wow, that's deep. That's yep. deep. You think that there's a version or an extension of that going on in modern days? Oh, definitely, bro. That wow. whole, you know, Epstein breakdown, organ harvesting, right. so making money off the organs. Epstein, suicide or murder? Um, um, you know what? I don't know what happened to him. I, I definitely don't believe it's suicide Me at either. all. Me either. Me yeah, either. I, 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 I really I understand how hard it is to kill yourself while incarcerated. It is extremely difficult to hang yourself in a cell. None of that. Robin Williams, same thing. Wow, I don't believe deep. none of that either. That's Michael deep. Jackson, same thing. Yeah, Michael Jackson, I think that's real obvious. Yeah. They were, they were ready for him to get up out of here. Yeah, I don't believe none of that, bro. I got the I got him over there waving the time ticket. <clears throat> we done ran out of time, man. I sure appreciate you coming hey, through. Yeah, I appreciate you having me, homie. Oh, God, um, I know you got to come back again. Anytime. If you'll be willing, and I just want you to let the people to know where they can find you when you're not here with us on Facts Over Feelings. Yeah, I appreciate you all. You guys tuning in. Um, you can find me at uh, Marvelous Inc. underscore tattoos on Instagram or uh, my YouTube channel I just put up. Um, it's called Marvelous Minds um, with a Z. 
and I appreciate to all you guys all the love and support. So thank you very much, homie. And y'all see it right here. It's not fake at all. It's all organic and original, black and brown. Opposite sides of everything y'all thought, realizing there's a lot more in common that we have a difference. And uh, I appreciate you, bro, on everything. Oh, I gotta give you one of them. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> the